Scorpio and welcome to your mid-month September 2021 reading. I'm so excited to look into the sun, moon, and rising signs of the Scorpio Collective. Remember that this is a general reading, so it will not resonate with everyone, but these energies can be reversed, so assign the roles as you please. If it doesn't resonate with you, just stick around because there may be something in it that you need to hear. During this reading, the angels are bringing the Holy Fire Reiki energy to you, and I am doing personal readings at this time. My website is right above me in the link. Otherwise, you can click on it in the description box down below and schedule a time with me. If you like this reading or entertain in some way, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. This way you get notified as soon as I post something new. Scorpio, if you want to see the September reading where I talked about the overall energies and the big stuff for September, go ahead and click on the link right above me as well. You can check that out or it'll be in the playlist at the end of the video. I want to thank all the people who have subscribed to my videos and liked my videos and watched my videos. Thank you so much for being here. And I want to thank the people who are brand new. I appreciate you being here as well and checking out my channel. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, if you wouldn't mind doing that, that would be great. You guys have helped me get to 2,000 subscribers and that's super exciting. And I'd like to get to 3,000 if we can. Let's just keep creating more, right? <laughs> thank you so much for all your support and help. All right, I'm only accepting the highest and best truth for the highest and best good, bringing forth the most accurate answers. If you want to know about your crystals for the month, the essential oils for the month, that for Scorpio specifically, you're releasing your trapped emotions and the theme for what's going on, that is right above me in the link that's displayed as well. I'm doing a five card spread. We're doing money first and then we're going to do love right after that. You are in the energy of manifestation. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Manifestation is happening so quickly lately. I can't even explain to you. It's been nuts. Like I think about something and boom, it it's like manifesting. It's wild. So that is awesome because we also have coupled with that is the page of swords. So you are in master manifestation mode with the Page of Swords. Nice. The Page of Swords is some sort of contract. So when we're talking about money, career, we're talking about contract, we're talking about your hard work is paying off right now. People are going to help you. And it's time to rely on your intelligence as you move through the month. And the intelligence and the logic will help you to figure out what you want so you can manifest it. Now, what energy are you in right now? You are in the energy of deciding what you want, planning. You're in the planning stage. Deciding like, okay, so where do I want to go from here? What would I like to manifest next? What are my real desires? So asking yourself a lot of questions. The next step for you is moving forward in celebration. So you're going to start seeing manifestations happening and then you're going to want to celebrate. And they, they could be little things, you know, as simple as like I walked through my closet the other day and I thought to myself, wow, I really need to organize this. It's not messy or anything. It's just not inspiring to me. And sure enough, like the next day, my husband's like, hey, I was thinking you want to go ahead and like redo the closet, like paint it, bring all of our stuff out. And I was like, whoa. That was wild. So little things like that. And every, every time you uh, think about something, be careful about what you think about because the manifestation energy is super strong. Okay, we have the Pisces full moon coming up next, which is September 21st. And it's, it's in a water sign just like you. So you're going to be able to feel that energy really well. Things are going to be illuminated. We'll talk about that soon. And then also we have the Mercury retrograde that's coming up at the end of the month in Libra, which is about balancing. It's about money and balance. So really interesting okay guys so what is in your way somebody might be trying to get one over on you um and that is an obstacle like somebody's trying to hmm maybe maybe you might get a letter that somebody's trying to get money from you or something um and they're not right like they're not right at all and it's it's their trickery there's some trickery going around uh, hopefully it's not for a lot of money, but uh, yeah, there could be some sort of thing like that where you get some notification or some kind of communication that you owe money, but you really don't. That's interesting. Uh, otherwise, it could play out in a different way where you could lose a debit card. You Somebody could get your um, information, something like that. It could be really small, like a data breach somewhere you know, when your information gets taken this month, or it could be um, something bigger, like, you know, somebody uses your debit, like your debit card number or your bank number or something like that. 
but just kind of be aware of that. I'm really interested and want to know a little bit more about that because whenever I get kind of deceptive cards like that, I just want to know more. What do you mean? Like what's happening? So just, I guess I would say be a little bit more protective this month and be a little bit more diligent. And it's true because my husband has Scorpio in his chart and we got a letter saying that we owed something and we don't. We really don't owe it. Owe it. So it could be something small or it could be something bigger. But let's see. And ours wasn't a big deal because we don't owe it. Okay, so you're going to feel like this is what's happening here. You're going to feel like you didn't see it coming. And that's going to make you feel really, it's going to get, you're going to get anxious about it. Um, and you're going to be like, oh, you know, especially if you're the one who deals with the money or deals with the bills or something, you're going to feel pretty anxious about it. And the page of cups is saying, don't worry about it because you have it. You have good money. It's not, it's this person's, this person's stuff that they're trying to do is not going to work out. Just know that it could be coming and don't fear. Don't, don't get stuck in this because remember manifest, manifestation is really strong. So don't get stuck in this because remember manifestation is really strong. So don't get stuck in this um, fear because we could accidentally manifest it in their direction for their um, happiness, right? We don't want to do that. So just know that, that it has nothing. They're wrong. That That's what this is, is that it's not real. It's an illusion. It's not right. So uh, I have a feeling that the Pisces full moon will illuminate whoever's trying to do something to you and it will go in your favor. The strength that you have is that your money looks good. <laughs> so the strength that you have is that you saved well. You you feel really good about what you're doing. You're being very diligent. So you're not afraid. Like keep looking at your bank statements. Make sure that people aren't doing anything this month to you. Um, and that will that will work out better for you because you're doing that. You're going to be able to catch whatever's happening. It's this. The thing is, is like. The, the letter that we got, we don't owe it because we kept good documentation. We kept good records. So even though this person tried to say that we owe this, it's like, um, I don't think so because here's all the documentation and we just sent it in. It was like that simple. Okay. And the outcome is that you're protected. So there's nothing for you to worry about. We all have free will and people try to do things in this lifetime to us. But the fact is you're listening to tarot readings so that you know that it's going to happen and that you're going to be aware of it. And so you can be like, you know that you're heavenly guided because you're here listening to the angels and guides telling you that something's going to happen. Don't fret because you didn't do anything wrong. It, with, it has to do with your money. Your money is going to be fine. You're going to be fine. Everything's going to be fine. It's just they're, they're going to try to flex their muscle on you. And you're going to be like, ah, eh, no, your muscle sucks. Bye. It's not going to work. Okay, so good for you. All right, let's move into your money and see what's happening with your money. I mean, sorry, your love. <laughs> let's move into your love, Scorpio, and see what's going on on the love side. The love boat. <laughs> I don't remember how that song goes. Something, something shiny and new. <laughs> Your love boat. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's so crazy because that just happened today to my Scorpio husband. And I didn't do so well. I didn't get I didn't read the tarot cards yet. So I was like really kind of flipping out. All right. It's so funny. It's so funny sometimes when we read the energy, like, why did I do why did I flip out like that? It's ridiculous. <laughs> All right. One two, three, four, five. So we have the overall energy of the higher font and the justice. So you're getting an apology. Um, that's good. Or you're getting a contract. So when it comes to love, this is definitely a higher realm kind of thing. Maybe you're going to get a justice, like you're going to see something play out really nicely in someone's life that maybe did something to you. And it's like, haha, not, not that we're like, haha, but in a way, you know, <laughs> in a way we kind of are like, haha, you know, finally. So I feel like you're going to see the, that the universe has done something um, to, I wouldn't say get even, but there's really no other word to kind of describe that, but done some, so somebody has maybe done something to you and now the universe is going to say, okay, yeah, you want to mess with Scorpio? Well, let me see what's going to happen here is that Scorpio is going to get their justice. They're going to get what they need. They're going to get their sorry. It could be a real sorry, or you're just going to see the sorry on someone's face, you know, but when somebody does say sorry to you, make sure that they're very clear about what they're saying sorry about. Okay. 
how are you feeling that you're moving in a new direction? Look at all this fiery energy. Look at all that red. Wow, that's good. That's a really good thing because it's ambition. It's fiery feeling. It's passion. It's a lot of passion happening in here. Um, and this passion is making you move forward in a new way, in a new direction. All right, it's making you go get more cups. <laughs> like you already have eight cups, but you want to go get two more so you can have 10 of cups, you know. <laughs> All right, what's the next step? The next step is the queen of swords, and that is um, ambition. There it is, all that ambition. Look at you. Uh, you're going to start to see the truth and the things that maybe in the relationships that you've had that uh, were hidden from you. Uh, boy, you're going to get to see truth all around in your money and in your love. Look at that. Um You've been really strong in adversity, so you're going to be able to see the bigger picture. And I feel like I'm doing a full moon reading for you guys because that's what it feels like. Uh, you're going to be feeling very wise and able to take some more risks. That's good. Um, what is the obstacle in your way? Is some sort of communication. Um, you're waiting upon some good news. You're waiting to see if you can trust something before you move forward. Maybe you're even waiting for your job offer. Uh, so something like that. Um, it's interesting because we're reading about love and I'm having the same thing that I've had with the Libra and Sagittarius today where they just seemed very intertwined. Okay, well, I'm doing my best. So you're also waiting for someone to express themselves or you're having the opportunity to express yourself to your love, okay? <coughs> the strength that is helping you is that you're able to make decisions with a blindfold on. So you're at a crossroad. So you're at a crossroads, but you recognize that it is a crossroads in this relationship and you're willing to see both aspects or both perspectives before you make a decision. And that logical way of being with this ambition that you're feeling around this relationship is, is very good for you because you're going to make the right choice. That's what it's saying. Like you don't even need all of the information because you're going to make the right choice anyway because justice is in your favor. Okay? Okay. So the outcome for this love situation is, once again, you have a forward movement card. There you go. So moving forward, I don't know if some of you guys are moving out of a relationship or you're just moving forward into the relationship in a better way than you ever have been before. But let's grab some cards for some love cards and see what's going on here. Okay, yeah, there's something in the love that there's just not enough attraction and chemistry in the way you guys have been doing it for this relationship to keep going. Some of you guys are going to leave a relationship. Some of you guys are not going to relieve a relationship, but you're going to redesign the relationship to where it meets your love needs a lot better. Because it's saying that you already met the romantic partner that you seek. So some of you guys are going to go right to that new romantic partner. And some of you guys are going to be changing the love because this is the person you're supposed to be with. But there is a feeling of separation. So, so that's what this moving apart from. And so maybe you guys are just going to separate. Um, maybe you feel separated in emotional connection with your lover. And that's why you want a change. Like, I'm tired of not having an intimate emotional connection with you. That's what I want. And we need to get there or we need to, to not do this anymore. Oh, interesting. Okay. All right. Let's see what the person thinks about you. And I do want to grab some of these love cards real quick. Okay. Let's see where we're at. So reflection, give each other some space at the moment and trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. So that's what the separation may be about as well. Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. There's no point in trying to change what's beyond our control. All right. And let's go ahead and find out what they're thinking about you. Here we go. Okay, Scorpio. You are my favorite work of art. So somebody really loves you. You are my destiny. So if, if you're staying in the relationship, then this is worth working on. And you're worth working on. Or, you know, you're worth working for. And some of you guys are moving towards a new love. And this is how you're feel Like, this is how they feel about you. There's a strange, deep connection between us. 
So that's good. So they're feeling like there, there is a deep connection and it can get a little bit better, but it feels a little strange right now. But it is deep and it's awesome and they know you guys can have it. And somebody is secretly passionate about you, so that's always good too. <laughs> I love it. All right, Scorpio, if you like this reading or entertain in some way, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And I will see you in the full moon Pisces reading. And then also I will see you when I do the Mercury retrograde reading. If you haven't checked out the all signs reading where you're in that, all 12 signs are in that. And we talk about the energy for what's going on and how we're all related in that energy. That is right here on the screen. And you can just click that and go right to it. Otherwise, you guys have a great day. Bye.